Hello and welcome back to program C++. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at um, the if and statement. Uh, the if else statement is part of the conditional statement in C++. Uh, basically, what it does is that uh, the if else statement executes one block of code if the condition is true and another block of code if the condition is false. So, unlike the if statement that uh, the execution is done if only the condition is true, the if else statement um, um, gives an option to uh, execute another block of code if the condition turns out to be false. Yeah. So um, this is the syntax for the if-else statement. So um, if the first is the if keyword, then the condition um, to be checked. So after the condition, the condition is true, this block of code executes. But if the condition here turns out to be false, this block of code here in the else executes. So um, let's go to our ID and then let's practice something. Okay. So, yeah, so this is, let me clear. Okay. Let's put that a simple one here. So uh, let's say, in. so let me comment here. So let's give a condition. Let's say if problem my parenthesis, then your condition is say twenty. Let's bring that in. Let's go that in. Ten. Then to bring your bracket. And say one so so then end line so um, let's execute it this is just the if statement so let's execute it let's see what that is from problem run so the president calls the condition here turns out to the condition here turns out to be true so let's go back and then get rid of this okay all right what if the condition here is false so nothing executes because the con that is the if statement so uh, in order to uh, get that other option or the other alternative to execute uh, if the condition turns something false you introduce the else statement so the syntax is uh, say else then don't the line in brackets you say c out and we, this is where the value of code so you say c out a second To see to her. Yes, and I. Let's see what happens. So, so the second one. So this is basically what is up here. Uh, we could realize that this statement this condition is going to turn out to be false so if it's false um, the l statement comes in and helps us execute this kind of code so let's try something to detect where you're taking input from the users let's try something here okay, so let's declare a variable types in so i say um see um and uh, let's say and that means it's a but by a a
when and then. Mine. Then I got the nurse line of the says Sneeble. Day. J. And we can go see. Huh? So let me see her. And come here. So press declared basically this is what is happening here. Declared um two variable types, uh, variable of types integer A and B. Then we prompt the user to enter integer number into the variable so so that uh, we will be able to receive uh, the your the user will be able to give the machine a name. So uh yes we've seen by allowing the user to input the number here and picking it and staring in. We can also tell the user to um, see out. You uh, prompt the user to enter another integer value for the B uh, variable declared here. So he's seeing to accept the value. Then let's go to our if else statement. So you can say if A is greater than B, it's greater than B. And we set our brackets here. We say see out. A is less end line. Else, let's see else. So, once sneak out, test this is. Basically, a program uh, that basically takes two numbers and then tells you which is the quintess of the two numbers. So, you keep the cell uh, and let's do this here. Let me reduce my folds. Yes. The sign is uh, still into a two here. Okay, all right, so let's compile it. Let's see. Compile it with. And that it. It's a value for you here. So let's say 20. And that it's a value for, let's say 15. Now, this is basically what happens here. It takes in the value for A and B, then it runs this lock of code. So if A is greater than B, which it is the. Uh, by reason of the, uh, the values that we declared for the variable. So A was 20, B was 15. So it went out. A is the greatest of the numbers. So let's look at the uh, situation. B is the greatest. Okay, so let's say you have to be here for A. And you have to stay with me. B is the greatest of the numbers. So Okay, I didn't space out here, so it's uh it's so let's do it again. Yeah, two and then yeah, first ten. I see that B is the greatest. So this will happen is after seeing in the says that now we have A to be two, um, B to be fifteen, and then um the conditional statement checks is is a greater than or if a is greater than b you see out of which is not because a is 2 and then b is 15. 
therefore this condition turns out to be false and then it executes this so that is it for if else statement so the next we are moving to else if statement thank you very much